Okay, so for this video, or for this level at least, these are the abilities you're going to want. Um, obviously you have all your basics, those are really, really important. One thing you really need to make sure you have is jump cancel, but I'm sure most of you use it anyway, so that's no big deal. Uh, obviously you want as much speed and acceleration as you can, so get your charger, uh, get your super speed up, and all that sort of stuff. Quick high step is always good, and I'm sure most of you already know that. Uh, rocket boost is your best acceleration, super speed up, da ba da ba da. Uh, landing boost is a great one, just keeps your speed up. So, obviously, you want to get through the stage as quickly as possible, so anything that's focused around speed is a necessity. Um, other things that would be important, let's see, cancel turbo, cancel dash helps with your speed too. Get those fire gaze, uh, that's another important one, uh, just adds attack to your jump cancel. Um, length of your jump, uh, you need at least turbo jump for this, at least turbo jump. Um, if you don't have boost jump or rocket jump, that's okay, because obviously I pulled it off with it, so no big deal. Um, homing attack, not really a big thing, but if you have expand, go ahead with it. Homing stability is always good. You're not going to be doing much sliding here. Uh, in fact, I actually make a mistake in it, so don't worry too much about that. Um, but you still want to keep your quick slide, it helps out a little bit. Skimmer is not a big necessity either. In fact, you might, you know, do better without it. Uh, I don't do any braking, you don't do any backstepping, so that's no big deal. Uh, balance is always good. Uh, down cancel is always useful, but you won't be using it because you're just going to be rocking the party. Uh, and warp dash, great for speed, so... That's all really self-explanatory though, but knowing what you need to have now, let's just go into the, the mission real quick. And it's very quite simple and pretty straightforward. It just There's a couple little shortcuts and a couple tricks that you might not have realized that you can do that I will show you. Okay, so this is going to be Lost Prologue, uh, paragraph 21, the last one, where you just go through the final level as fast as you can. Um, it's a lot easier than the last one, but I thought I'd do a quick video for it anyway because it's nifty and there's a couple shortcuts here. So you're going to start off warp start, but instead of going on those rails and uh, bothering with the enemies and crap like that, wait until that first spike ball gets behind you, then just go right, go back in the middle, go right again after the spike ball passes you once more and you're scot free. This is the fastest way to get past the beginning of the level. After that, just collect your pearls, keep running along, everything's fine. Skip that guy right there, you don't need to hit him. Then when you attack that second enemy, uh, just use your jump cancel to get right back to the rail as fast as you can. Uh, tilt right to get to the right rail, tilt left, get back to that rail, you're good to go. Now this is another part where you can do a little bit of skipping and move a little bit faster. Uh, wait until the very last point on this ledge, go as far as you can right there and then you're going to want to just do a short jump. You will make it. And then immediately after that, while you still have a split second of time in the air, cancel your jump and start charging it so you can stay in place. Otherwise, you just might skid off. Keep charging from there. Let go. Homing attack to the other platform. You will make it. And the same thing applies. You're going to have to time your jump cancel precisely so that you don't start skidding. Um, so charge your jump again, move to the next platform, wait for the enemy to appear, homing attack to him, skip that guy, and cancel right down on top of the booster. From here, just a matter of slaloming the spikes. I make a mistake right here. Um, but you're going to want to jump over the first batch that does that. But you're going to want to do it on the left side. You see I do it on the right side, and this, this isn't a problem, just makes you need to do another short jump. So after that's all done, you get some free rings, you're running really, really fast, that's when you want to use your speed break. Okay, there's a really, really long path of nothing, so make sure you use what you have stored. It should end right about here, hopefully, um, and that's when you can slalom these walls pretty easily. Uh, then after this, you're going to hit these boxes. Now the best thing to do, depending on what you have equipped, is to jump over the first one so you can connect with the second box like so. That will cause Sonic to do an immediately a second jump and it really saves you a lot of time makes you keep going fast. Or if you prefer just stay to the right and uh, everybody will be happy. Then you just want to jump over that second pair of boxes if you want to. If you can hit that booster feel free you'll get the button but honestly none of it is needed. Um, 
you'll move fast enough to avoid those enemies, dodge the walls, hit the goal, and there's your mission complete. So there you saw a couple tricks. Um, really easy to get a gold medal there um, if you know what you're doing. So use those shortcuts to your advantage and uh, hopefully you'll have some luck.